Lulu was released on parole this morning. He served nine months at Sefontein Prison outside Peter Marisbeck. In 2008, he skipped a red traffic light and collided with an oncoming van. Two passengers in the van died and 10 were injured. Zulu also fled the scene of the accident. He was sentenced to five years, two of which were suspended. Now, with 18 months remaining, he's been given parole. One of which is disabled. Um, something like that shouldn't be you know, looked at to a much larger degree. And obviously, sentence-wise, nine months is not enough. No. I think it's unfair to those families that he has to get parole. I mean, if any criminal, if you look at they're going to jail, I mean, if they need to serve their time, they need to serve their time. I mean, he's got three years, and now all of a sudden he's got to parole. The early release has prompted speculation of preferential treatment. Prison officials have denied this. A dual offender's uh, sentence in correctional services at the time uh, will be given a six-month remission. Uh, in that announcement by the president, an additional 12 months was going to be given to offenders who have not committed violent crime. Uh, Sufficio qualified for both. Zule has tight parole conditions. He must remain at home unless he finds employment. Prison officials will visit him four times a month. He is also banned from drinking alcohol and can't leave his home between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Linam Gobo, SABC News, Deb.